good morning everybody this is a balakrishna welcome back to the session we are into the subject which is called as international advertising we will be speaking about one or two sub topics in the advertising that uh, that is what are the advantages disadvantages forms media involved in international advertising okay what do you mean by advertising advertising is a process of paid form of communication from manufacturer to the end user through an identified sponsor here in the same way international advertising and domestic advertising are completely different in domestic advertising the advertising is limited only to the boundaries of the country but in international advertising the advertising is limitless you are video or your advertisement is released into the vehicle it will be seen across the globe without any hesitation all your advertisement can see can be seen through uh, through the online media across the globe such form is called as internet advertising now i'll be sharing you a screen to say about two concepts in international advertising Yes, there are two definitions for international advertising. First definition is it is a process of dissemination of information. What do you mean by dissemination? Conveyance of information, spreading of information, distribution of information from the targeted countries in more than one country at a time is called as international advertising. international advertising is a commercial activity where it involves the advertisers that is manufacturer or sellers or ad agencies what do they do they create the ads they uh, run the ads into the media and advertise it to the different countries what are the reasons for international advertising first and the foremost reason for international advertising is we do not want to limit the opportunities we wanted to enter into international markets then only a manufacturer goes for international media or advertisements through internet and online second one is low economies of scale low economies of scale in the sense less amount of expenditure is required for advertising the product through social networking sites through through other means also here they wanted to uh, they wanted to sell the products to uh, increase their production capacities across the globe it's changing social aspirations here what happens is there are three different types of economies developed under developed and uh, developing economies here any international advertising is preferred in and it is different in different economies it is it is necessary in developing developed and under developing economies as well barriers here one thing to speak regarding the barriers is the culture becomes a barrier for communication through international media here if the culture and conditions economic conditions of the people are not bothered then it is difficult for the advertisers to successfully generate the message into the targeted audience its growth of international media in the past for the internet internet is only the one means of advertising but now there are large number of platforms there is twitter facebook linkedin many social networking sites apart from this there is also a growth of uh, options available 
like uh, pop-up ads, banner ads, inter interstitial ads, which are present, which are the gifts of internet advertising to the advertisers. Amortize the expense. Here, because he, in internet advertising, what happens is the less amount of expenditure is required to promote the same ideology from the domestic market to the foreign markets when compared to the sales it has generated. Companies' image will grow up. It is now called as multinational company because it operates in many countries. The credit goes only to the international advertising. Simplification of coordination. Once the domestic needs are met, the international advertising can easily penetrate into the foreign markets. What are the decision areas in international advertising? First and the foremost decision area is what are the objectives to be set? Advertising depends upon the objectives. Sometimes there are certain companies who wanted to increase their market share. Then they allocate different budgets. But sometimes there are certain people who will be trying to maximize their profitability. Their advertising modes will be different. To earn profits, there are different media. And to increase market share, their different mechanisms. Targeting issues. Here, uh, international advertising will be, will depend upon the customs, culture, traditions of that country. A person has to understand the beliefs, customs, traditions, norms, values, religions in that country before advertising the products. Positioning of global brands. India is the best example for this. Many global companies want to establish in India before liberalization, but they failed bitterly. The reason is only one thing, that is because of wrong position. Kellogg's has strongly positioned, uh, it uh, released as a breakfast item in India before liberalization, but that bitterly failed but now it is used as a diet controlled breakfast item. This various international campaigns must be released so that the product is advertised. Sampling must be done, contests must be conducted so that these international campaigns will be successful in creating awareness regarding the product in a new country. Here, setting the budget is also an important decision. Based upon the Objectives they set the budget based upon the country they wanted to penetrate in, they set the budgets. Advertising budgets. What's the importance of international advertising? The main importance of international advertising is it helps the manufacturer or it helps the international marketer to penetrate into a wider market. Initially, they operate in domestic markets, but later they can skip to the international markets only through international advertising. They can earn the foreign exchange as uh, because of international advertising. International advertisement creates a platform for the marketers to earn huge amount of profit in the form of foreign exchange. Spread the business risk. If the domestic company, country, or the domestic markets are vulnerable, then they go for foreign markets. So what happens is if the domestic advertising is is not up to the mark or if the international markets need to be uploaded then they go for taking the risk of entering into international regions 
this international advertising whatever it is is increases the standards of living of the people what do you mean by standards of living ac is a comfort now but ac is a comfort in the past but it is a necessity now 4g is a comfort in the past but it is a necessity now here the living standards of people are completely changed because of the way it is advertised in a way it is marketed globally resources can be completely utilized what resources can be completely utilized financial resources can be completely utilized if the country goes for international advertising next is it facilitates the cultural exchange uh, they give every advertiser must see the culture of the country before they advertise the products in that country the same advertisement may be successful in one country but it is unable it may not be successful in india emotional appeal is good in india but commercial appeal is good in foreign countries next uh, promote world peace this international advertisement especially the social advertising internationally also helps in uh, decreasing the decreasing the conflicts what are the challenges of international advertising major challenges traffic barriers there may be large number of exporters large number of importers large number of sellers operating in market we we must not be one among them but we must generate our own usp with the help of them we must help we must uh, this international advertising creates a unique identity for each person it sees variation in the exchange rates variation in the exchange rates international advertising may be may not be possible for a new entrant initially in some areas but this will be highly successful in some areas this is because the currency values changes in one country so the expenditure also need to be monitored before it is released cultural diversity if a person is successful to advertise the product in india he can advertise globally the reason is in india large number of cultures exist large number of diversity exist and people with different races religions caste sex gender etc live in so uh, according to me i believe that a person who is able to advertise domestically in india is a successful global advertiser next is distance problems distance problem in the sense the the advertiser may promise many issues that it may be delivered within short interval of time and uh, it will be um, delivered in right condition guarantee warranty etc assurances will be provided this international advertising must be must make a promise must make realistic promises that are that are uh, to be possible is political environment the political tussle is prevailed so advertising of certain products is bad in countries like india for example advertising of alcohol is bad in countries like india whereas the same advertising of alcohol is a commercial thing in some other countries so political environment should also be monitored before advertising next one is competition competition may be success may be intense but with the help of any usp in the advertisement we will be able to face the competition what are the advantages of international advertising international advertising helps to create a awareness among the public this the because of this awareness they will be able to increase the sales of the product 
as the awareness is increased, it impacts the sales of the product. Next, it also reduces the expenditure. What sort of expenditure is reduced? The expenditure for producing the goods will be reduced because huge amount of quantity of goods may be poured if the advertising is successful. It earns the foreign exchange for the marketers. As the sales is increased because of advertising, it earns the foreign exchange to the marketers. Uh, the living standards may be increased as we have just said, have a remarkable notice on that. Next, it creates an employment opportunities. What sort of employment opportunities it creates? There are a number of uh, people who enter the their web analytics, web analyzers. Next, there are also separate uh, ad agencies to promote. There are also separate um, operation managers to be promoted to be used for uh, running the um, advertisement in international media. Separate people who researches the media must be used and other things. There are large number of employment opportunities created because of advertisements. International advertisement also creates a platform for the growth of large number of industries. So rapid industrialization is only possible because of uh, international advertising. What are the disadvantages of international advertising? The major disadvantage is if the advertiser do not focus on cultural differences, they feel bitterly and the product will be rejected to all the cost. And the entire expenditure will be lost. Second thing is the advertiser's main challenge is huge amount of competition may be prevailing in the foreign country and because of that huge competition and a product which is only highly unique can survive and the remaining products will perish. Government restrictions. But for example, I'll just know I've stated that if the government restrictions are, if government accepts those advertisements, government norms are fulfilled, then only they can promote the products in the foreign countries. For example, alcohol advertisement is banned in India and uh, Indian advertisements has their own norms when compared to other countries. It's another concept is there that is impact of customs on international advertisement. The, uh, for example, take the case of uh, Domino's and other pizza hats or else the Kellogg's westernized goods into India. Are they successful in India? No, they are not successful in India as they have entered. They faced a large number of problems. Some were being locked out by the regional people. Some were being devastated and some have suffered huge losses. This is because they do not study the cultural traditions before entering into Indian markets. Just as they have entered into foreign markets, they have entered into India. Next, well, they, so these customs need to be studied. <coughs> Sorry. These customs need to be studied before entering into Indian markets or before entering into domestic markets by India to other countries. First and the foremost is language in international advertising. For example, all the people in US speak uh, English. But if I start conversation, all the entire video in Telugu, they cannot be communicated in, uh, in that uh, country to the norms. If I start speaking in Malayalam, if I start speaking in Kannad, I, I cannot uh, cover the entire audience in US. So what we have to do before entering into the foreign market, I have to know what sort of language is familiar for all the people there. Next one is communication style in international advice. Emotional appeal is successful in India, but that commercial appeal is successful in foreign countries or developed countries. And economic appeal is, appeal is uh, good in many Chinese and South Asian countries. 
So depending upon the country that you wanted to penetrate in, you have to select your appeal. Colors, members, and images. So uh, before going to the other things, certain colors are not acceptable in the advertisements of certain products in certain countries. There are certain products uh, which have lost their sales because they are in, uh, they are in different colors, different images. Take for example the dye coke. The dye coke has used different designs, different images to market their products across the different countries. It has used different images in India. It has used different images in Pakistan. It has used different images in China. It has used different images in the US. In this way, it has changed the images and colors of the logos, colors of the packaging uh, uh, to promote the products. This cultural values in international advertising. Cultural values in the sense, we, we believe in family system. Cultural, the, this family system is believed in three countries. One is China and Japan as well. But this cultural value system may not be that extent effective if we focus our advertisements on in certain countries. Literacy. If, the, if I focus completely on educated youth and I am a techno savvy used in the advertisements, I may not be able to attract the illiterates in underdeveloped countries or developing countries. This is a small video regarding the forms of international advertising merits and demerits of international advertising. Hope you will like the advertisement and subscribe to the channel.